Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another first impressions video. So today I'm bringing you some new products that I recently saw at Walmart. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, I will have my information somewhere here. Um, make sure you're following me because sometimes I'll post things of uh, new makeup that I picked up or products that I spot you know, in the drugstore, just things like that. So make sure you are following me. I saw that Hard Candy had some new products and I was immediately all over it. So I did pick up some of the new products to test them out for you guys, give you a first impressions, and then as always, update you in the bar, in the box down below, in the info box, um, to let you know how they work. So the first thing that I picked up was the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I picked up six of their new Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Colors and um, the one that I'm wearing right now is Wisteria which you will see in the swatches. And then I also picked up their new um, Illuminate and Strobing Mix and Drops in the color White Pearl. And the very last thing that I picked up was their Highlight, uh, highlight and Contour Stick. Stay tuned so you can see my first impression on these products and again don't forget to check the info bar if you guys are interested in an update of all this that I'm wearing. So thank you guys for watching, enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm gonna first start with this one. This is supposed to be a hydrating primer mist. It's supposed to have a 12 hour power, so we'll see if that works. Um, it contains electrolytes, um, and it says that it energizes and it hydrates the skin. It's oil-free, silicone-free, and alcohol-free. What really caught my attention about this product was um, it says coconut water infused, so I'm really excited because it kind of reminded me of the Marc Jacobs coconut water, the or the primer, um, except that it's not a mist and this is a mist, so we'll see how that works. The packaging is really cute. I think Hard Candy has one of the best packaging in the drugstore, so I'm just going to open this. I don't know how it's going to smell, so I'm just going to mist this all over my skin. Oh, that does smell like coconut. It's very refreshing on the skin, and I can definitely smell the coconut. I don't know if it's a primer that I'm wearing underneath or if it's the mist, but my skin does feel very like cool, very fresh. So the next item that I'm going to use is this Look Pro Illuminate and Strobing Mix and Drops. It says to use it alone or mix it in um, with products for instant radiance. Now I did only see one color and it is White Pearl. So I guess you can mix these drops either with your foundation, with your moisturizer, or you can actually just use them on their own. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with my foundation because I want to test it out and see if it'll change the consistency, first of all, of the foundation. And second of all, I really want to see how good it does as far as illuminating my skin. So what I really like about this is the actual applicator or the little dropper. So if you can see it, it has a little button on the top and you just squeeze it down or you push it down and then you get like little droplets. So you just push it down and you get drops. So for my foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer and I am 06 sand beige if you guys want a review on this I will have a link down below I always say that and then I never link it I gotta remember so being cabezona like I forget those kinds of things but I'm going to use this foundation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a full pump um because this kind of uh, foundation foundation is pretty thick so I'm going to take a full pump of this and then I'm going to take I don't know if it says how many drops. I don't think it matters. It's just personal preference. One. Oh, I think one's enough. You do get quite a bit, if you guys can see that. So, let's see. I'm going to mix it in. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face. I don't know if it's because my skin is peeling, but this is burning a little bit. Like, a tiny bit. It's, a, like, a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm just going to take a technique, Real Techniques, what is this, sculpting brush, and I'm just going to blend in the foundation onto my skin. So 
So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's definitely a glow, you know, to my skin. And the foundation, the Milani foundation, does not have that glow because it's more of a matte foundation. So it definitely works at giving your skin a very nice glowy dewy finish and what I liked about it is that it didn't change the consistency of the actual foundation so I really like how it looks it did a good job so next I'm gonna move on to the third product which is another face product this is the highlights um, highlight and contour it reminded me a lot of those NYX sticks which I've never used them but this just really caught my attention especially because it's drugstore I picked mine up in the color medium and as you can see you get the highlighting obviously and the contouring side so let's see how this works so I'm gonna take the highlighting side and I'm going to be highlighting everywhere where I normally would which is down here where my eyes are First impressions, they're really creamy, so hopefully they are as easy to blend out. I'm going to... I'm going to blend everything with my beauty blender and I'm first going to take um, the lightest or the highlight shade and I'm going to blend that one out. This little hair is driving me loca. So it actually blends out really nicely onto the skin. Um, the contour is still there. You can see it. So you can't see it so much on the cheekbones. I mean, a little bit. Um, I would just say if you want it to go a little bit more crazy with the contour, you can probably get away with it. It blends out, again, really nicely on the skin. I really like the highlighting color. It actually... Um, looks really nice underneath the eyes. It brightens up your skin and the contour stick I think it's that perfect shade for contouring where it's not too warm um, And it's not like too orangey. It's like in the middle. It's a little bit cool, but not too cool either So I really like that. Okay, so I am back. Um, I did apply more of this liquid highlights onto my cheekbones and as you can see it gives you a really pretty glow it does have a little bit of like pink iridescent glow to it, but I really like it. Um, I don't know if my skin overall looks glowy because I did um, set it with like powders and stuff, but I really like this one. So we're, we're going to move on to the lip products. When I saw these, obviously the packaging just sold me right away. These were only $6 a piece. So I'm just going to go in order of the numbers. So I'm going to start with 1072. And again, this is a brown nude lipstick. These are called Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. So when I first ran across these, I did think that they were going to be liquid lipsticks, but by the name of it, it didn't sound like they were. I think they're going to be like the Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks, which are more of a matte lip gloss. So the one's really nice. It's a doe foot applicator, but it's really long, and I like these because they're really nice and easy to apply. Ooh, and they smell really good. It has a really nice color payoff. So there you have it. This is the first lip swatch. And this one again is Daffodil. Really pretty everyday 
nude brown color i'm actually really digging this color i'm going to let it dry for about five minutes to see if it dries down to a complete matte or if it's just going to stay as a semi matte but so far i really like it So it's been about five minutes and it hasn't dried down unfortunately i think it is going to be some of those semi matte lip glosses which i'm just not a big fan of if you if you guys like them then i think you're really going to like this the texture is really nice um the smell is very pleasant it's not overwhelming they go on really smoothly and the color payoff is really, really good for $6. I think it's totally worth it. Again, if you are into these types of lipsticks, if you are in, you know, super ultra matte, uh, like color pop uh, type of gal, then I don't think you're going to like these. I think I would wear them, you know, on days I'm wearing like this, like very minimal makeup, but it's just, it's not my cup of tea. Okay, so the next color is going to be this one, 1073 Dahlia, and it's a really dark, like a wine color, so I'm really excited for this one. So there you go, that is Dahlia, really, really, really pretty color. Again, I'm super impressed by the color payoff. I think it's just amazing, and I've noticed that the packaging is pretty spot on to the actual color of the lipstick. Next is this classic red color, and this one is Tulip. Again, really pretty payoff. Again, amazing. And it is... It's pretty. I like it. And this is the other color. This is Hibiscus. This one I would definitely say to skip on it. It's very patchy. Um, if you swipe it one way, you kind of take off some products. And then if you swipe it again, you kind of take off more products. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this color. I just don't think it looks really good with my skin. But yeah, hibiscus, pretty color on the packaging, not so pretty on the lips for me. And it's just very streaky, very pack packy, very patchy. So I would not recommend this one. Next we have Cherry Blossom. I actually really like this one and with this one there's no patchiness, no streaking whatsoever. I really like the color. Again, it's a very pretty mauve dusty rose pink almost and I like it. And then the very last one is this bright purple and again this is Wisteria. Really pretty color, super bam in your face and I like it. So that is the end of this first impressions with the new Heart Candy makeup. Um, let me know which one was your favorites and let me know what products you guys are going to be picking it up. Picking it up? Yeah. What products you guys are going to be picking up. Um, I honestly like the majority of them. Even though I'm not a huge fan of this finish of lipstick i like some um as far as like the color goes so i might keep some um but most of the products i totally give it a thumbs up and i totally think it's worth it i will update you guys in the info box as far as how long you know everything lasted yada 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 i'm just going to leave this lipstick on for the rest of the night test it out and see how it works so make sure to check that out um yeah so you guys can stay updated so that is everything again thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with all my videos i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye